Hard Peeps little vlog here. As you can see, we're building boxes for horses. There's going to be a horse race this weekend. I'll be vlogging that. I'm building these with my dad. He's the president of the organization. A whole bunch of boxes. We just got done putting this up. Really cold today, minus 30. Can't vlog really long because I need to work. Just wanted to give you a heads up of what's going on. Cool peeps. All right, we're pretty much done here for today. We've got some, uh, all the wood that's here we have to brace up top and stop the stalls from moving around. But uh, we have a total of 12, 30. Combien? Combien? Uh, 32. 32. There's 32 stalls in all that we built this morning. It's about 1 o'clock. We started at 9. And, uh, that's about it. Big show this weekend. Horse racing with a sled. That's my dad in his truck in his garage. And uh, we've got to go down the hill. There's seven more stalls down there. we got to go check out and see if they're okay. We just unloaded all the uh, sawdust that we sell $3 a bag to participants that need it. It'll be good for the weekend with that. It's pretty compact. So I'll keep you guys posted. Catch you later. What's up, peeps? Got Jacob with the baby, nice and quiet, watching a movie. Like to recap my day. Tools are there. I uh, got the other strap that I was supposed to get uh, tightened. Uh, the power steering one. What happens is there's the pulley, and there's like two small spots on each end of the pulley that line up to get to the bolt. I can show you guys another day, but I don't think you guys really care. And uh, I was able to undo that. Use my crowbar, pulled it back, tighten that belt. You guys saw me change the plugs. I uh, got all my wiring redone for uh, what? Chiquito. This is a brand from Dollarama. But Chiquito, in my head, this is not racist, but it's like Chiquito, like Japanese or Chinese. And Japanese and Chinese person. Chiquito is so. to be like small, or Chiquito means small, too. So this is a six, nine month. And this is a zero three months from george and the six nine month is <laughs> smaller <laughs> oh my god the, six, the zero three months so that might fit too <laughs> <laughs> got the car done rerouted my wires got it on the switch i just need to set the switch into the dash there's another little piece of plastic in back that i need to uh drum out out or whatever work this morning with my dad Making the boxes for the horses for the horse races. That'll be up. And uh, that's it. Hyundai is ready to go. I just need to... Uh, I'm still getting a check engine light. And it's the purge sensor under the hood. Uh, when it warms up, I think uh, Thursday or Friday afternoon when I get back from uh, working with my dad. Because I'm going to work with him Friday morning again. It's supposed to be a little bit warmer. I could maybe take it apart and try and clean it. So uh, that might be an alternative. And uh, that's it. Cool peeps, love you guys. If you like what you see, you know what to do. S say hi, peeps. Hi, peeps. Say please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> All right. Hey, Logan. Say please subscribe. Please <laughs> Jake, say please subscribe. Bob, say please subscribe. Please <laughs> Alright peeps, I'm out. Alright, back at work. You can see the building down there. There's a big field. That's where the horses are going to race. they got a trail that's been made here. So uh, the horses can go down with their sleds. we got the guys from Propan and shit installing the heat. We've got the side-by-sides ready to go. Uh, pretty much everything's set up on the inside. I'm getting ready to install the heat. You can see the tubes there going in the window. But uh, we got to uh, let, get, let the guys that furnish us with the propane heating install it because we're not we don't want no liability issues or anything like that. So that's what's going on right now. It's freaking cold today. I got my snow pants. I figured if I was installing heat today, eventually it'd be heat, eh? Heating. I don't know where we left off. The heat tube's coming in. Got some more down at the other end. 
my dad installed all the uh, the pieces of wood on top so these things are are pretty damn solid you can't really move them getting ready for the show so my dad's gone to do a little errand he'll be back I'm waiting for him to get here and then uh, we'll get the show on the road right now it's like 15 past 9 and I'll keep you guys posted ciao all right peeps welcome back to PM gaming 101's garage so uh, I taped off two more LEDs only two over the uh, the speedometer one over the tachometer and one LED over the gas and the heat it lights up fine I got the switch pretty much as set as I can get it which is cool it's not running off anything else but a toggle switch I'd like to get it more flush, but there's so much plastic and molding behind there that I had to take the Dremel and kind of clean it up. But this is fine for now. It's a $400 car. I'm not going to go crazy. So, um, check engine light that I got now. Oh, let me grab my gloves because it's cold today. Check engine light I have now is for the, for the uh, purge sensor, which is right here. I took it apart, brought it in, cleaned it with some... Uh, carb cleaner and then I uh, kind of pushed uh, air through with the compressor and there was a lot of black and brown soot crap that came out and uh, I took it off I tried to blow in it because obviously there's a vacuum that's a whole vacuum system right there I couldn't do anything I couldn't blow in it at all and now it's like I can a little bit I mean vacuum the vacuum on a car is a lot stronger than you think it is so what I'm gonna do is put it back on there try to erase the code and see if it comes back on if it does well I'll just buy a new one it was worth a shot of cleaning it. So, just goes back on like this. Plug it in, erase the code, see if it comes back on. And uh, that's about it. Cool, get you guys soon. Here's a great view from up top. I climbed up a little bit. You can see, and uh, in between, in between, well, in be behind, oh my god, that was so hard to say. There's another row of boxes for the horses. So uh, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be 39 horses in all this weekend. We're Friday. It starts tomorrow. I think horses arrive tonight. I'm not sure. I'll keep you guys posted. Ciao. All right, peeps, the big day. We just got done installing the uh, the uh, the announcement or or the the, the publi or whatever you want to call it for where it is. It's facing the road. We got it on both sides. We worked with what we had screwed into the telephone pole but it's only there for two days so uh, let's get back to the fairgrounds and see what's going on this morning I cut some wood for the little fires and uh, it's about lunchtime so cool babes catch you later all right peeps we're back it's uh, this is like the lunchroom area got a whole bunch of stuff going on for the kids and that there's uh, I'll bring you guys around outside after obviously that's you know that's the big punch and also I'll go where all the horses are too we set all that up. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Food's over there. And uh, they're serving hot dogs, spaghetti, cake, pop, uh, hot chocolate, coffee, and uh, I think some other little things. I'm not sure. It would have been nice to have like a, a, a vegetable platter or something like that or a fruit platter, but <clears throat> most of us are eating free today, so can't really complain. We got Logan. We got some gloves from my dad, like a whole freaking pack of them. Probably see if a pair fits O'Reilly, the pink ones. I don't think Logan's gonna wear those. And uh, that's about it. Baby's drinking right now. And uh, that's about it. Catch you guys later.